when you sit with your mind, you begin to see there are all kinds of things in there. We like to think that we're basically good, but there are some other voices in the mind that are hard to recognize as good in any way at all. And many times they take over. That's what you've got to watch out for. The Buddha never talks about whether people are basically good or basically bad. He just points out that we have good and bad intentions. And if we follow the bad intentions, there's going to be suffering. If we follow the good intentions, it's going to reduce suffering. If we follow really skillful intentions, we can put an end to suffering entirely. So we have to look carefully at our actions, because our actions make all the difference. So instead of labeling yourself good or bad, look at your actions, look at your intentions. Learn to step back from them a bit. Think of them as different voices in a room. And you're not responsible for all the voices that are being or holding forth in the room. But you are responsible for which ones you choose to side with. So try to get the mind really still so you can see what kind of voices there are. Some voices are caring, or sometimes they sound caring, but they really have some ulterior motives. That's something you've got to watch out for. Because some things seem nice on the surface, and as you get to know them, well, you begin to realize this is not so skillful after all. Others are harsh, and they can be either harsh for the purpose of your own good, or they can be harsh in another way. So you can learn how to listen to these voices and listen to what they say. This is one of the reasons why we try to make the mind still for long periods of time, so we can get to see these things clearly. It's like tuning a radio in. If there's a lot of static, you can't really hear what's being said, so you miss a lot of the undertones and overtones. But when the mind is really clear, then you can hear things more clearly, and you see things and detect things that you wouldn't have detected otherwise. You're in a better position to choose who is a skillful friend and who is not a skillful friend. Because a lot of these voices present themselves as friends. And sometimes they just present themselves as you. So you have to decide, do you really want to identify with them? To so try to get the mind really, really still and take a little bit of skepticism toward all the voices in your mind. You find that some of them are helpful, but you really want them to pass the test. So don't be too quick to agree with everything. As I say, don't believe everything you think. And don't believe that every voice in your mind is you. That way your actions become more skillful, and that opens up the possibility. If we were innately good, then the question is, why are we suffering? If we were innately bad, then there'd be nothing we could do. We'd have to depend on outside help. But here we have all kinds of good and bad things inside, so we learn how to regroup, renegotiate. So the good side can ultimately take over, and if possible, convert all the bad ones.